Okay, pizza review time. Pep's Draft House Original, the crawler. I read up because I'm a man of pizza and I do my research. And what a story from Pep's. So Pep and his brother in Wisconsin in like the 70s had a little, uh, a little bar, a little tavern called Tombstone Tavern. Okay, fine. Let's continue, Dave. What makes this so interesting, so unique? In this little tavern in Wisconsin, Pep and his brother served pizzas. They called them Tombstone pizzas. Why? Because of the name of the pizza, the name of the tavern, excuse me, was Tombstone. So here you go, sir. Here's a Tombstone pizza from Tombstone Tavern in Wisconsin. The pizzas start getting popular, popular. Roll the train along. Pep and his brother start making frozen pizzas called Tombstone pizza. Ever heard of it? Only one of the most popular frozen pizzas in the country. They sold the company in 1986 to Kraft Foods. So Pep and his brother are like, hmm, what are we gonna do, Pep? What are we gonna do? Guess what they did? They started another bar, another pizza, Pep's Pizza, also in Wisconsin. And then they started selling these bad boys. So this is a Midwest frozen pizza, the descendant, Pep's dead by the way, the descendant of uh, Tombstone. What a story, boys and girls, that was story time with Kelly Kapoor. Okay, pizza review time, here it is. Looks pretty good, and a couple of these mozzarellas fell off. They were like lightly on top, and when I took the package out, there should have probably been, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five. There's probably another two or three that fell off. Um, so, Pep's Draft House Original, the five cheese crowler. Proudly Wisconsin cheese. And we know how the Midwest works. It's weird that I'm wearing Green Bay Packer colors since they're out of Wisconsin. Um, that's what we call um, serendipity. Anyways, we know Midwest pizzas tend to be heavy, thick. They got the cold winters, they, the cold winters, the ugly women. They all huddle together to keep together. I'm sure there's pretty women, just like there's ugly men and good-looking men. So don't get on me about that, all right? Um, one bite, everybody knows the rules. Uh, see what we got here. Peps. And again, Peps, which is stunning, was the developer of Tombstone Pizza, sold it to Crafts, came out with their own. So I don't know if they still like Tombstone. I don't know. Well, Peps dead. But Peps Draft House Original. So Tavern Pizza for those cold Milwaukee nights. And it is heavy. Let's see what we got. That wasn't a great cut, clearly, because I didn't get a clean break. One bite, everyone knows the rules. I know what people are asking. Hey, Prez, what's this shirt? Frank Carey North Reading Baseball School. When I was a little kid, little whippersnapper, a young Dave Port, and I used to North Reading Mass, Frank Carey, tobacco always in his mouth. I went to his baseball camp. I was like seven-time sliding champ, two-time gold, gold glove champ. The best slider at the whole fucking camp. Best slider on the whole North Shore. The pop-up slide, backdoor slide. Come on, I killed it. One bite, everybody knows the rules. If you're lucky, I'll do a demonstration. I'll do a pop-up slide demonstration in my living room. Probably get fucking rug burn, raspberry, strawberry like you read about. Not wearing sliding pants. Draft house, peps. One bite. Let's see what we got. Tombstone, I think I thought was middle of the road, right? Like in the fours or fives, I didn't think it was great. Heavy, heavy, Midwest, heavy. Brett Favre taking a million dollars, saying he didn't know anything about it. Dick pics, the whole works. One bite. Yeah. Cardboardy, like, this reminds me of this traditional frozen pizza. Been sitting in the freezer forever. Heavy, dank. <clears throat> Choked a little bit there. Still choking a little bit. You can tell this is this is weather pizza. This is like kielbasa, cold weather, fires coming out of trash cans, ice, that type of pizza. Doughy, heavy, thick. I'm gonna go. I'm glad Pep's dead. Not because I'm glad he's dead. I don't want to hear him hit and see me hit him with a two nine. Two nine. It's not my style. Too heavy, too thick. Peps, 2 9 Wisconsin. I'm going to set this up for a bonus slide right now, just like I promised. All right. Let's put this is the bag. Let's put the bag down right there. Can you see the bag? Uh, there we go. Now you can see the bag. Pop up slide. 
I should probably tighten these. North Reading School Baseball Champ Pop-Up Slide. 